Okay, hi. So today everyone's posting videos for this It Gets Better project, talking to young gay people who are being bullied in school, trying to explain to them that, you know, things do get better and, uh, you know, hang in there and, and all that kind of jazz. But um, I don't want to make one of those videos. I want to make a video to, to the bullies. Okay, so I'm 25, so let's go back 10 years. I was 15, I was in school. I was quite a, you know, artistic and probably pretty out there um, teenager and I got picked on for being gay. I'd get pushed and shoved and they'd call me a fag. It seems so silly now to think that being called a fag would be that upsetting but you know when you're 15 your school life is your whole world so it really does hurt. Um, I remember one time there was graffiti written about me on like a on a bench in the school and uh, and someone spat at me. Like this is just um, it was pretty awful, pretty hard times. But here we are, ten years later, and um, you know it's 2010. We have the internet, and let me just put it this way: I I live in a great city, and I have a really good life. I have a great job. I make a good living for myself, and um, you know life is good. But, you know, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't checked out the bullies that picked on me in school on Facebook and see what their lives look like now. And, um, <laughs> I'm happy to say they look like fucking losers. The thing is with these people, I mean, nobody's born homophobic, nobody's born racist. You know, these are ideas that are either brought into them by parents or, you know, religious fanatics or something like that. But, you know, when they begin to take on those prejudices and hatreds, that sort of mentality breeds and it doesn't make for a good happy person or a happy life. I found a lot of those guys that made fun of me in school on Facebook recently and it looks like they're, you know, pretty much they're all still living in the same hick town. They've got crappy jobs and they look like shit. And they look like they're, they're old. They're just, they look like they've had long, miserable lives already. And I'm sure that there are many reasons why people's lives turn out this way. But I can't help but think that harboring, you know, hatred and spending a lot of your time and energy when you're in school on making somebody else's life hell, they can't be doing you any good. You know how people always say that, you know, bullies are really the ones that are insecure? Like they'll find somebody weak in a pack to make fun of, to make themselves feel better. And when you're 15 or what, you know, you think, oh, that's just something old people say. But, you know, I'm old now and I'm telling you, it's true. <laughs> if you were completely content and happy with yourself as a person, then you would have no reason to try and make somebody else feel like shit. Like when you're calling some kid a fag and giving him hell, what are you trying to achieve exactly? What good is this doing for him, for you? What, what is this giving you? You may think it's funny, but I'm thinking it's got probably a lot more to do with something deep down that maybe you're not even aware of yet. The point is you might have a couple of pinheaded losers hanging around you telling you that you're cool and funny, but I'm telling you, you're not. Life is not going to lay out this glamorous, amazing path for you. There is one direction for people like you and that is down. You are a loser and you always will be. But I'm not worried. The world needs assholes and bullies and haters like you to make the rest of us shine. So in closing, I'll say, you know, your life is probably going to get pretty miserable and shitty from here on in and you deserve it. And fuck you. Okay, bye. Ooh, it's so thick and salty.